It's 4.45 in the morning and the journey begins. Welcome to Zagreb. We were actually just saying as we were coming into the city that it's been basically a year since we were here last time and we actually drove past a couple of areas where we walked this time last year and it's just strange to feel like we were here a year ago and so much has happened since then and here we are again. <laughs> so we've got a 15 minute walk to get to the place where we've booked for tonight. It's not too hot is it actually? It's perfect temperature. You wait till we've been walking for like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> True. And then I'll ask you the True. We've literally come into the sun, haven't we? <laughs> we just checked in into our apartment and it's super lovely. Let's spin you around. <laughs> right, we're here only for one day. We're incredibly happy and excited to be back in Croatia. As Matt mentioned, we both can't believe it's been a year already since we've been here last. But on that note, let's not waste any more time in our beautiful apartment and head out and have some Croatian food. And I bet you know by now, I can't wait to have pastisada. This is pastisada. This dish originates in Dalmatia and it is a braised beef dish cooked in a fragrant sweet and sour sauce served with milky. It is a very rich and soothing platter. You feel awfully cozy as you eat it. The meat just falls apart in your mouth and the sauce... <sighs> I can honestly write poems on how delicious it is. Matt ordered turkey stuffed with cheese in prosciutto sauce, served with gnocchi, a completely different dish to pastisada. Turkey is very gentle in flavour and texture. The dish itself is very creamy with a salty heat from the prosciutto. Delicious and super filling. Good as you hoped. 
I'm a bit out of this world right now. We've got doggy bag with us as well because the portion was so huge. Also, I know this is random, but I really wanted to ask you, just in case, do you have a good recipe for pasta salad? Because I just really want to make it for our families to try. And if you do have a legit good recipe that you tried out yourself, please share it with us. <laughs> because sharing is caring and all that, you know? Please. <laughs> so the bus is leaving at 8.20 this evening and unfortunately we couldn't leave our big bags in the place where we were staying so as you might imagine it's not particularly comfortable to walk around places with those bags to go for like a proper walk um, so we're gonna find somewhere we actually found somewhere we're gonna go to McDonald's <laughs> and get a coffee there and just get on with some work for now <laughs> It's always a, a bit of a trouble exiting anywhere. I don't know what it is, because usually when you're like walking somewhere, yeah, if you want to turn around to speak to someone, you just go like that. You don't spin all the way around. But it seems to be when I put this bag on, I have this possessive thing inside of me where I have to go all the time. And I seem to either bump into walls or just smash people out the way. <laughs> oh no, I do that too. That's fine. You're Real right. lack of spatial awareness. That's all right. So on that note, as Julia said, because We've got our big bags on all day. We're not able to show as much of Zagreb as we'd like to. But if you want to catch more of Zagreb, we have a video from last year on our channel from here in the city, as well as the rest of Croatia. So we'll stick that somewhere up here somewhere. Check it out. Shameless plug. <laughs> It's only so long to be honest you can sit in a McDonald's without it starting to get a little bit awkward and we managed six hours I think that's pretty good going but for the last three or four hours we're going to sit in a park read a book and watch those minutes tick by four times as slow as normal <laughs> So one of the things you've always got to be prepared for, I guess, when doing a big land travel like this is delays and just be open to it. And we just checked, we booked a Flix bus, as we said, from here in Zagreb to Plovdiv, Bulgaria. And we just checked the app and it's just been delayed by three hours. It seems the bus at the moment is still in Austria and it's got to go through Slovenia and then come here. So we're hoping it doesn't go any longer, but if it does, we had a look online. The bus station seems quite comfortable. <laughs> so we're gonna bed down there for the night. <laughs> So we're at the bus station. We decided to arrive here on time because the arrival of the bus kept changing. So we weren't sure whether the app is right or not, but it seems like it is. It's showing now that the bus is supposed to arrive here just before 11. So we've got a couple of hours to wait. It's 10 to nine now. Let's see what time it's going to arrive. And that's actually one of the longer journeys that we have ahead of us. The bus is supposed to take about 16 hours, but 
we checked that the bus that's doing the same route but left yesterday it's supposed to arrive to Plovdiv at 12.30 and we checked about 6 in the evening and it wasn't even in Sofia so we grabbed a couple of buryaks just in case we end up arriving really late but let's be positive and keep our fingers crossed hopefully we'll arrive uh, well at least about three in the afternoon <laughs> at least close <laughs> still here it's 20 to 12 and we check the status of our bus and it shows that it's still at the border at the Croatian border in Slovenia it's been there for nearing on three hours now so we keep seeing the thing is it updates right and it moves when it updates when it updates and it just moved about five minutes ago to what looked like on the Croatian side and we were like yeah it's coming and then it updated yeah. again and it's back on the Slovenian side so who knows <laughs> we're so past our bedtime right now <laughs> this speech is so slurry oh. and we struggle to um, you know put our thoughts together to say the least <laughs> just hoping it's gonna come relatively soon <laughs> Hope dies last. To be honest, the rest of the journey was pretty smooth. We slept throughout the night made a few stops along the way to get through Croatian border, in and then out of Serbia, and finally through the Bulgarian border. That took a little bit longer than expected to say the least but as we said in Zagreb that's all the joy of overland travel you've got to go with it <laughs> and 26 hours later we're here in Plovdiv we're all good we're all whole we're in one piece everything's good and we're going out straight away into the Bulgarian countryside from here and we'll be back to Plovdiv in a couple of days so for now we're going to leave this video here and we'll catch you in the next one from the mountains of Bulgaria